Let's check in with our Chelsea Torres, who I believe is live out near the beach area that we just showed you. Chelsea, hey, it's getting breezy out there, huh? <laughs> A little breezy out here, <laughs> Drew. Um, sorry about that. It's definitely been picking up here in the past 20 minutes or so. Okay, I'm just going to move out of the way. So this is what we've been watching. My photographer, Dylan, is going to zoom in. He even made the comment that... He even made the comment that a lot of that water that, that you see from the beach, it's pushing up consistently over that middle median. Now, when we got out here at about 4 a.m. earlier today, we parked right next to that median. So that way we could have a better shot. Well, within about 10, 15 minutes or so, that tide started coming up. And that was about 4.15 a.m. We moved up uh, within maybe an hour or so, Corpus Christi, Corpus Christi's Parks and Recreation Department came out and they started moving up these barricades. Now these barricades were originally out in front of that middle center median where that sign that says beach is. That's where these barricades originally were. Parks and Recreation has already been out here three times just to move up these barricades. And it's getting stronger that that wind is definitely getting stronger out here. And that's kind of what's been happening over the course of the five, six hours or so that we've been out here. It'll be strong gusts of wind, strong rain, in, increased rain coming down, and then the tide will definitely come up a lot stronger, and then it starts to die down. Since we've been out here, since I've been standing out here for the past 10 or so minutes, um, the rain hasn't really let up, the wind hasn't really slowed down, and if anything, the tide just continues to get stronger. That's that storm surge is definitely pushing through. Um, when we spoke to the Parks and Recreation Department, they said that a lot of that tide that comes in is actually hitting part of the dunes. Um, they said to give them a call. Sorry, it's getting windier out here. They said to give them a call if they notice anything funny. And we thought, well, what would necessarily be funny? He said, because of the dunes right now, they're getting hit so hard and getting destroyed by this strong storm surge that it could even knock down um, whatever that is on the sides of it. So there is a sign way over on the right side of the dunes. There's also a light pole over here on the left side of the dunes. Um, and he said just to keep an eye on it, let them know. The city's Park and Recreation Department, they have 25 miles of beach that they have to go through throughout our area just to make sure that they are barricading whatever part of the storm surge comes through. And again, they've been out here already three times to push these barricades back. Now you can see all of that, all of that debris right here in the middle. That's been coming up just from the storm surge and from the tide coming up strongly. So this is kind of what we're experiencing since we've been live. This is probably the worst that it's looked because of the wind and because of the rain that we currently have right now, Drew. Kelsey, you've been out there since last night. Of course, you're at Whitecap Beach, and uh, you've seen a lot of things change since just last night. This might be the beginning of the real, real push. So if you are in a situation there where you see the dunes somewhat uh, being uh, compromised, we don't want you to put yourself in harm's way, certainly, um, because that light standard behind you, if that gives way, then you, know, you, you could put be in, in a precarious situation. Have, tell us a little bit more about how things have changed just since what, 12 hours ago, 10 o'clock last night, when you did your, when you did your report for our Chris Hicks News at 10 o'clock. So, Drew, when we got out here, we actually noticed that the Stripes gas station was completely boarded up, and that was about 4 a.m. over off of Whitecap and Park Road 22. We noticed that they were completely boarded, and as we got further out here, again, the tide was way further back. The barricades were way further back. Um, it definitely was not looking as bad as it is now. You mentioned people should not be out at the beaches, and you are absolutely right. If anything, more people have been coming out here to take pictures and video. Uh, but you can see this tide just continues to get stronger, and it's being more consistent. So that's what we've noticed even just in the past five hours that we've been out here this morning. Um, you're in a place where uh, you're going to get the brunt of it, so be careful out there, certainly, and we'll check back with you a little bit later. They, we understand the storm uh, should be approaching, actually, that area where you are at about 1 o'clock, so uh, don't look for things to get any better anytime soon, but uh, so hunker down out there, and, and we'll check back with you when we can. If you have something you need to share with us, be sure to give us a heads up, and we'll come right back out to you. Chelsea, it's Will do. Thank you, Drew. Okay, thank you. Reporting uh, live out there at the Whitecap Beach.